absolutely right. Next up, who we're going to have a lot of people watch this one. The Nebraska Cornhuskers. Maybe not long. Four and eight last year, three and six in conference. Returning starters, they got six on offense, five on defense. Experience returning is number 73 in the country, number six in the conference. Head coach Scott Frost, 23 and 15 in three years as a head coach, took UCF from the number 120 offensive efficiency team in 2016 to number six in 2017. That is coaching. That's what that is. Quarterback Adrian Martinez, 295.1 yards per game last year was a school record. He should improve even more under quarterback coach Mario Baird. I've read so many articles about this guy. Verduzco? Verduzco? I'll leave the names to you. Number 25 total offense last year. The number 94 total defense. This is where they need leaders like defensive tackle Darian Daniels and inside linebacker Muhammad Berry. Uh, He was their leading tackler. They need them to step up and hit a next level. Based on averages, their turnover margin should have been plus 3.7 last year, but was actually minus 5.7. That was the second most unlucky in the Big Ten. I think that kind of changes a little bit. Another year under strength coach Zach Duvall. uh, I think it'll have them even more prepared in 2019. I don't think they are quite there yet. This schedule is significantly more difficult than what UCF had to uh, handle in his second season there. Now, I think that they will continue to show improvement. I think that they start out 5-0, and and that means a win at home over Ohio State. Whew. So I think that they beat Ohio State, and then I think they lose the next two. I think they lose to Northwestern and at Minnesota. I'm really curious to see your Ohio State scores then. Yeah. Um, they beat Indiana. They lose at Purdue. They have a bye week. They beat Wisconsin. They beat Maryland. They lose at home to Iowa. I've got them eight and four, five and four in the conference. Got them seven and five. The the, one game off. Now, if you've got them at seven, you might mm-hmm. want to jump on this. Uh, the over under is eight and a half, and it's minus one ten on both sides. So Vegas is basically saying there's a lot of money coming in on this. We're just going to keep it right here. Yeah. See what y'all think. So you've got them at seven and five. Yes, sir. Kind of the same losses that I've got, including, I guess, uh, Ohio State. I just don't have not beaten Ohio State. Yeah, that makes sense. Or I, guess, I think Scott Frost is a good coach. Yeah. And I think this program is going to be going in the right direction. They're they're going to get better. The downside is, is I think there are a lot of good coaches in this conference. Yeah. I think Purdue used to be a punching bag, and they're not anymore. I think Minnesota was a punching bag. They're not anymore. Yeah. And as long as those guys are there— they're going to keep getting better too. The problem is, is they got about a two or three year head start on you. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. So you can't just chalk those games up to W's like you used to think. We're Nebraska and they're them. I don't. I don't. It, it think doesn't that work way. like that anymore. 